Hi, this is Sam Botstein for TractorSkills.com. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our tractor tutorials, and check us out at TractorSkills.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the classic delay freeze effect in tractor. Teachers have been doing this for years and years with really old versions of tractor all the way through the current one, and now we actually have a couple of ways to make this a little easier, and a couple of different effects to choose from in terms of using this effect. So the basic gist of what can happen is we can actually use the freeze button on the delay effect, which is only available when it's in its single mode. It used to be called advanced mode. If your effects is in group mode, you're not going to have that available to you. You're only going to have one knob per effect, basically. So if you hop over to single mode and choose delay, you'll be right where you need to be. Once you have your parameters set up just the way you like, or an acceptable sound for you, you can actually use this effect to mix out your track. This especially works really well in situations where you don't have a long running mix. Maybe you're mixing to a new tempo that doesn't quite line up, or often a slower tempo. This is a great way to have some like reverb tail, or in this case I guess a delay tail, that you can mix out that will do the job for you, essentially. So what we have going on is we have a loop going on from this remix deck that we've created in the previous tutorial, and we're going to turn the delay effect on, and when we're ready to mix it out, we're just going to hit freeze and then listen to that delay tail. That is what you can actually use to mix out from this track and into a new track on some other deck. So here's what that is like. So it actually takes a little bit of a while for this to die out. It gives you plenty of time to mix in the new track. If you're doing a really long mix, but it isn't a running mix, maybe you're mixing out of this remix deck that we're using into some sort of deep tech house kind of thing, this is a really effective method. This also works with the other delays, like the delay T3, as well as the ramp delay, and also the tape delay. It's the same process, you find the mix of dry-wet, the filter, and the other control, as well as feedback, and then you hit freeze and it works. Luckily, if you are a fan of using the effects groups and some complicated chains, as I am, there's actually a new macro effect. Macro effects are one-knob effects designed for the Control-Z2 specifically. So essentially they just have one button on and off, they have the dry-wet, and they have this one knob. This is so that the effects section on the Z2 can handle any macro effect you throw at them. They're basically a bigger DSP load on Tractor, and they have all sorts of different things that are going on behind the scenes with just one turn of the knob. They typically do one thing in one direction and another thing in the other direction. Some of my favorites are Stretch and Zerp, but the wormhole effect has this delay tail just on one knob, it's just one gesture for you. To further illustrate how it's just one single knob, if I hop into single mode like I just did, you'll see that we have these controls deactivated, we really only have a on, a dry wet, and the one knob. So you can get the same kind of effect from wormhole as we did as the reverb tail, but very, very simply and easily. For one thing, with the effect centered at 50 there, at 12 o'clock, in other words, and the effect on the dry wet all the way up, we hear the sound completely dry. So you can actually leave this in the whole, your whole mix going, it's not gonna affect anything, and as soon as you turn that knob, we get some interesting effects. So I'm going to do a reverb delay tail using just this one knob on the wormhole effect. When you turn it to the right, you get a slow fade out. When you turn it to the left, you get an infinite reverb tail that you can mix out. So here's what this is like. You don't even have to mix in the effects slowly like that. You can just turn the knob 
all the way full clockwise and mix out the reverb tail. I do like the try and catch the beat, so I'll put it on either the kick or the snare in order to capture that. I've been putting it on the snare, this time I'm going to do it on the kick. So there you have it, easy delay tails in Tractor 2. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our Tractor tutorials and check us out at TractorTools.com.